Yo YouTube, YouTube, what's up guys? What's up Fishbox friends? Today is October 24th, so that means that this is the last full week before November starts. And when November starts, that's when holiday season starts. Uh, I'm not sure what's about to happen this week. We got Francisco coming in. Speaking of Francisco. Yo bro, yo bro, I was just mentioning you man. I'm on the vlog, man. How you doing today? I'm doing good. So uh, we're gonna get things together because it's cold outside, my bad bro. It's cold outside, it's warm in here, but uh, we already got packages that came over the weekend that we're gonna take care of. So I'll take you guys along with us all this weekend. Let's see what's up. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? 457-2694 to opt out. So you're gonna be running this place by yourself, bro. Hey, it's Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hi, um, good morning. I, I'm sorry, I had to uh, suspend my Fishbox for November and I'm moving forward because we'll be away most of the time. Okay, yeah, no problem. Give me one second. Let me just make sure I cancel it on our end over here. And I also want to say thank you for uh, your trying Fishbox when you did. It really does mean a lot that you gave it a shot. Well, we'll probably be back. It's just we'll be, we'll be away a lot. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Sorry. I just canceled your service now. You should have gotten an email, or if not, you'll get it in any moment. And whenever you decide to give us another shot, let us know. I will. Take care. What's up, Fishbox friends? So as you guys know, Phillies World Series is about to go down. And I'm telling you right now, if and when the Phillies win the World Series, Fishbox is going to be closed that day, and that vlog is going to be the craziest vlog that we ever did. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? I'm going to be coming to the area for like a couple months for something, and I need to open a mailbox. I'm just trying to understand, you guys do like a mailbox service? Yes, we do. If I receive something there, but I'm not in the state, Mm -hmm. Am I able to like have it forwarded? Absolutely. Yep. We have a forwarding service that we use and then we through USPS. So whatever packages or mail we have, we can mail it to you anywhere as long as it's domestic. And I can just sign up online, I guess? Yeah, that's the only way we accept signups at this time. Okay, cool. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. What's up, guys? So it's about about 1230. Really chill as far as the amount of customers coming in. Not as many. UPS showed up real early, which we like. Shout out to our boy Alfonso that delivered about 35. And then Amazon just came a little while ago. I'm not sure how many it was, but we'll figure that out later. Hey, this is Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hey, what's up, buddy? I uh, just wanted to let you know I'm on my way. If you wanted to grab any of my stuff. You got it, brother. I think I got three packages for you today. Awesome. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. You got it, bro. Hey, what's up, Fishbox friend? Almost 6.30. A crazy day in the last, like, everything happened in the last hour. I lost a package. FedEx showed up late. A customer tried to sign up in the store, and we don't accept signups in the store anymore. Spam calls were coming through, but we made it through. Let's see what's up with tomorrow. Yo, Fishbox friends, what up, what up, what up? It's the 25th, Tuesday. It's a little rainy outside. Got deliveries today. Let's take a look at the store and see what it's looking like. Pretty clear over there so far. Bunch of stuff down here, up here. So, I mean, honestly, probably only about 60 to 70% full. We got a bunch of room in the back as well. What's up, guys? So, FedEx and USPS just showed up with a bunch of packages. Here's the FedEx stuff down there, over there, over there, some over there, and of course, the USPS stuff in this tub here hey what's up fishbox friends so it's pretty chill today on this on this tuesday so i thought i'd take some time to answer some questions that you guys submitted either in the comments or through email how is your health insurance set up so i've been getting health insurance through the marketplace so i've been i've been doing that ever since i started fishbox and thank goodness because you get all types of uh, tax breaks and incentives being a, a business owner and you know for, of course if you're just starting out you're not making as much money so um, it makes it easier to have health insurance that's affordable. What led you to your decision to hire family? One of the reasons that held, held me back from hiring people is because I wasn't quite sure what type of leader I wanted to be. 
And to be honest with you, like leadership is something, especially leadership where you have to like be responsible for people, where you have to be the bad guy and where you sometimes you have to like make decisions that and talk about things that may make people uncomfortable. Sometimes that that doesn't really come naturally for me. So working with them allowed me to be more comfortable. Of course, you know, speaking to your family, you speak to them a little different than you speak to, quote unquote, a stranger. You know, we could kind of learn together. This for them, this is their first job, like their first real job. And for me, this is my first opportunity to have employees. So I feel like we're helping each other out. I'm developing my management slash leadership skills. And of course, they're getting some on the job training and a little bit of cash in their pocket. How long did it take for you to build clients? The time that me launch the website to getting the first customer, I think that happened overnight because I thought Psh, if I could just put a website up and get a customer overnight, imagine, you know, in two weeks, imagine in a year, but it definitely didn't happen that way. It took me about two years to get my first 100 customers and it took a lot longer than that before I started turning a profit. Yo, yo, what's up, Fishbox friends? October 26th. Wednesday. Yo, bro. Oh, he got the glasses on today? Okay, <laughs> yeah. bro. I see you, bro. What's so, up, bro. man? How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? Yeah, hi. My name is... I received an email about a package I have there. Um, is it possible I can send my wife in today to pick it up? Absolutely. Give me the first and last name so I can add to the account. <laughs> all good. Sounds good. Yeah, we got her added to the account now and you're all good. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. About to make some more artwork today. Cause if you ain't making art and having fun in your mailbox store, what are you even doing? I'm a watch guy, as many of you guys know. So I, I like to take old magazines. So you hear. Just old magazines and just clip out anything that I think is cool. I like to repurpose stuff. But I just like to clip stuff out and just make new stuff out of old stuff. So what we're gonna do is take one of these priority mail stickers here. We're gonna glue this onto here. And then we're gonna cut it out and then we're gonna stick it to the fish box table. So check it out. All right, so USPS just showed up and what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages today. So light work. As Francisco said a little while ago, I think this is the calm before the storm. All right, y'all, so it's five o'clock, rush hour time for all the customers coming to pick up packages. I'll set the camera down so we can see what that looks like. Hey, good morning, good morning, Fishbox friends. It's next day, Thursday, October 27th, and just getting ready for the day. It's about 8.58, so I'm about to open the store in a little bit. A couple of art pieces that I made yesterday. You gotta know who Barry is. Of course, living in Philly, this guy needs no introduction. And a couple of stickers that I made. So maybe we'll stick, I think this one, and maybe that one will stick to the fish box bench. Oh, what's the fish box number again? Um. We just got three small ones for you. Cool. Right. Those, those two. This Sweet. one's for you. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. See you later. You got it. Go to death. Yo, friends, what up? So it's about 12:30 right now. USPS showed up. DHL showed up. UPS showed up and Amazon showed up and I've been waiting for about an hour and a half as I was putting away all those packages to to look at this, but a package showed up for me. So let's check it out. This is what I've been waiting for. So any of you guys born in the 80s and maybe even the 90s, you definitely know what this is right here. So it has 821 games in here. Some of the games, I think it has Contra in here. It has Dr. Mario in here. So maybe I'll get this hooked up by Saturday so that we can all play and I'll surprise them with it. So unfortunately, it delivered a package for a customer. Of course, you see it has a fragile sticker on there. But you can also see that there's a nick in the package there. So the driver unfortunately put this package on the bottom of a bunch of others so I couldn't see it before they left. But what I normally do when this happens is I'll take a picture of the package and let the customer know that it got delivered like this just in case they want to make a claim and also so they're not surprised by the, when they tell them to get here. But that may be something you want to do too. Don't have your customers showing up with damaged packages, being surprised. Give them a heads up so you don't have to deal with any awkward situations when they arrive. 
It's Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just enjoying the day and enjoying the weather outside. Everything okay? Yeah, it's beautiful. I just uh, took my boat up to the library on 7th Street and mailed it in. So, nice. um, I came back and I just checked out my emails. It looks like a bunch of other boxes made because they around 3 o'clock, give or take. Give me a second. Let me see what I got. Yep, looks like we got two for you today. All right. I'll be right up. All right. Sounds good. I'll get them ready for you. Just got done with the last edits, got all the music the way I wanted, just looked over it one more time. Now I'm just exporting it so I can upload it to YouTube. So I should be able to have this up by 10 so that I can go live by noon. Hey, this is Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hey, I had a quick question. Can I drop off the UPS package for you guys? Like, like with you, the UPS picks it up or do I have to go to the UPS store? Uh, unfortunately, we can only accept USPS at this time, so I apologize about that. No problem. Thank you so much. No problem. A lot of you guys might wonder, like, why only USPS? Why is this guy really, like, going hard with USPS? It's because I want to be able to offer FedEx and I want to be able to offer UPS, but because there's two mailbox stores literally right around the corner, I've been denied for both of those services because they have rules in place that say only one store can be within a certain mileage. UPS or FedEx has to change their rules, so let's hope for the second one because I definitely want to be able to offer that service to you guys. Oh, wow. oh you're getting YouTube dizzy. YouTube's getting dizzy. We're getting dizzy. We're getting dizzy. Oh. I'm dizzy. Uh. What's up guys? It's about 5.15 on Friday. The city is on fire. Everybody's talking about the Phillies game, so go Phillies. Hey, what's yo, up? bro, yo, Martin. Good morning, man, good morning, man. Hey, good morning, bro. What's up, man? A nice haircut, bro. Thank you, bro. I thought you was gonna let it grow. Uh, I was. I mean, I still am, but I don't know. Y'all didn't see the game yesterday? Man, the Phillies killed it, bro. They came all the way back. Yo, yo, Fishbox friends, what up, what up? It's Saturday, October 29th, the last day of the week, and it's cold outside. I got my two brothers here today. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's up, you two? Yo, Jonathan, let's see that haircut, bro. Let us see the haircut, man. Bring it over here, man. Ooh, we looking fresh. What you looking so fresh for, man? <laughs> You got something special planned this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to a party tomorrow. A party? Yeah. What, what type of party? Uh, just my friend's birthday party. Uh, okay, what's it? Uh, 17, 16, 17 uh, birthday? It's her sweet 16. Sweet? Oh, is that Anais? Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Yo, I better see some pictures on the Instagram, bro. <laughs> I'll, I'll see. Uh, right, you'll see. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your party, man. Hold, let me see the other side. Is it the same on both sides? Yeah, I both just kind of fade. Ooh. Did you shave too, bro? Oh yeah, too. <laughs> we gonna have a good day, yo. I got, I got two surprises for. Well, I got one surprise for Francisco, and I got another surprise for both of them. Actually, that's for all of us. So we're gonna unbox that later. In the meantime, we're gonna get the work, clean up a little bit, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. So we just found out Jonathan's party is a formal party. So I got a couple jackets for him. He's gonna try on, and we're gonna see if they fit. Let's try that first one on. So that's the Calvin Klein jacket. At least see how long it is. See if that works. That one looks good. That one does look good, bro. What do you think? Yeah, it fits really good. All right. I think I might have the pants either in here or upstairs. Try on the other jacket. See which one fits better. That's my favorite jacket right there. I, I think I got that from J. Crew or something a few years ago. <laughs> uh huh. That one fits real nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah uh huh. <laughs> yeah. How you like that? Uh, I, yeah, I really like this one. All right. Let me see if I could. Uh, I could find the pants for you. They, he been working at Fish Box. How long has it been? With like at least two to three months now, yeah. right? And he texted me for the first time. He was like, "Yo, bro." 
I want to order something. Can I get it delivered to Fishbox? Is that okay? And then what did I reply back? You're like, finally. <laughs> finally. He finally got a little, a little money in his pocket now. He's buying stuff and he finally got things ordered. So stay there, bro. First thing delivered to Fishbox. It showed up the other day. So we're going to let him unbox it. You want to unbox it on the, on the camera? Yeah. This one, I got a Chevy Silverado mm. LTZ. I got another surprise. But I got this drone. Right, let's let's play Dr. Mario. <laughs> yeah. You gotta mess with me, bro. If anybody remember this Contra right here, this was the game. What's up, Fishbox friends? So towards the end of the week, it's Saturday, about 1.30 right now, getting ready to close up, but I wanna go over some numbers with you guys this week. Yeah, so it looks like we had 900 deliveries this week, and that was the same exact number we had last week. So we're staying pretty consistent. I would say this is like, kind of the calm before the storm as far as holiday season is concerned but just know we've been working really hard and we're really excited about the holiday season and the future that's to come on that note we'll just end the vlog there hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next week peace